Hi guys, it's Jasmine with Macintosh Homestead. Today I'm here in uh, Blairsville, Georgia with my friend Stacy, who's gonna tell us about his new mule he got as a pet. This is Amos. He's about a year and a half old mule. Uh, we just got him about a week ago, so I've been working with him this week on how to uh, protect the sheep. And one of the things I've done is I've, I grabbed some sheep's wool and I put it in my pocket because if he smells the smell on me and he knows that I take care of him, hopefully he won't see the sheep as a threat and stop him. When we first brought the sheep in here, um, we chased them around. Mules, mules, their tendency is to protect the, the herd from wolves, foxes, coyotes, things like that. So um, anytime they see something small like that that runs around, they want to chase it. Um, he's been really easy to work with. He's got a mild temperament. Um, you can see let me look at his hooves and the way that I want to do that is I'll touch him on the side here and I'll run my hand all the way down and ask him to give me his hoof up so he'll let me look at it he'll let me check it out and the same with the back you really don't want to walk around the back side of a mule um, they will kick you um, if not on purpose maybe by accident they don't know you're there especially if you walk up behind them and startle them and just grab them so again you want to run your hand down his side down his hoof Good boy. He's letting me look at that. Good boy. Down. And again, I'm trying to keep my body as far away as from his, his back as possible, um, just in case if the fly bites him and he jumps or something like that. Good boy. You always want to reinforce him. Tell him he's good. Scratch him in areas that he likes. One thing you don't want to do to reinforce is feed him treats out of your hand. If he associates your hand with food, um, he might want to start chewing on your fingers or try to bite on you. He's got a new habit that he just formed uh, within the past couple days where he's kind of testing me out. He'll bite on different areas of my arm and my shirt and I'll just I'll push him down on his nose because their nose is really sensitive, kind of like a dog. Um, so when he starts to misbehave, I'll push him down on his nose and tell him no. If he keeps doing it, I'll flick him on his nose and tell him no. But um, so far he's been really good. I think Amos is going to be a, a trail mule, so every once in a while I'll get on his back and uh, I'll, just kind of, I'll start it off leaning on his back like this so he knows what it's like to have some weight. At his age, you really don't want to saddle him up and ride him for any, any long amount of time. Um, you really just lean on him a little bit. Um, I could probably get on his back today and ride around for about five minutes, but that's the most you want to do when they're this young. You're not really ready to ride until they're about two or three years old. Uh, depending on their breed and depending on how big they are. Well, that's all I got for today, so thank you guys for watching.